What is up my Squirtleites, it is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we collected Stray Beat number 98. In this episode, we will be collecting Stray Beat number 99. Well, actually, over the course of the next two videos. This is a long one. The way I have decided to do this is we're going to be showing off the classes of every single type of weapon. As you can see right now, I have equipped as my main weapon, Thunder Edge, and my sub weapon is Eighth Wonder. When I get to round four, I will be switching to the Tundra Beads and Resurrection Beads. And then when I get to round seven, I will be switching to the Solar Flare and Trinity Mirror and finishing off with that combo. I have also, and I shouldn't have exited my menu, purchased the Wood Mat. So I can use that in this Delegate Trial. I have no use for the Thieves Glove right now, and we can equip the Wood Mat outside of battle at any time. That is implying I do take damage, which I probably will. Tools. We have 39 Godly Charms, 32 Traveler's Charms, 50 Vengeance Slips, 50 Exorcism Slips L, 50 Steel Fist Sockets, 50 Soul Fist Sockets, 16 Golden Peaches. I didn't really bother buying many because I don't expect to die even once in this. If I do, I will actually be sorely ashamed. Um, 3 Exorcism Slip M's, 5 Exorcism Slip S's, 50 Holy Bone L's, 11 Holy Bone M's, and 15 Holy Bone S's. Honestly, the less of I use of any of those, the better. But, I am going to take the time to explain to you guys why this is, and will always be, my number one game of all time. Here we go. Where do I even begin with this game and why it's my all-time favorite? I suppose all I can do is wing it. Uh, Okami first and foremost came into my life at a very rough time, and the first time I played through it, it provided an amazing distraction. I knew there and then that this game was more fun to play than any action-adventure game I had played previously. The battle system was a blast, implementing the brush techniques was great, the exploration was fun, and everything is, of course, very pretty to look at. But that was my first playthrough. About six months later, I learned from a certain LP or the depth that this game actually has, and went to do a little more research. All of the memorable characters and events, based off the of pieces of Japanese mythology, that intrigued me. And then I learned more about each of their characters as well, and began to fall in love with their personalities even more. I discovered how well crafted each one is, and how unforgettable they really are. And the story told? This was at this point my favorite game of all time already. However, I played it again, and again, and again, and I found myself loving the game even more with each playthrough, and it consistently repeated. Even after 10, 20, 30, and so on. I am one who does find joy in replaying games, but not too often, and not too close together to previous playthroughs. Okami I have never tired of. I have never once felt like maybe I need to stop this time. Nope. I have played through Okami 100% several dozen times, and it's never stopped giving. This is an extremely well-crafted world that allows me to escape to, feel immersed and completely distracted from a real world that most of the time I would rather not be in. The graphics, the characters, the dialogue, the gameplay, the plot, the soundtrack, the area design, the extra mechanics, the hidden features, the everything. In every way I find this game to be great near perfect or perfect and that's as close as a game could ever get to perfection especially for me and that is why this is my number one video game of all time
And that is it. For the devil get try. No, gone peach! Oh, it's okay. Several wakas, rows, and noggies. Let that freaking sink in. When I said this whole thing was a doozy, I wasn't kidding. Now, I'm very... I'm proud of myself, but at the same time... If you have that many items, it's not a problem. Now, I'm stupid because I never bought any Infinity Stones, and I'm sure myself, when I go back to edit it when I'm at the shop, I'm going to be like, You idiot! Buy an Infinity Stone! I actually didn't even use that many. That's good. It's not that bad if you have that many items, but really, I didn't actually use that many, which I was impressed with. I used, <laughs> I spammed the exorcism slip L's on the, on the Great Tangus. That was something. But, other than that, I mean, how many did I really use? I used 10 exorcism slip L's in the whole thing, 5 vengeance slips, 1 infinity stone, no, uh, a traveler charm or 2, a couple, of, like, maybe godly charm or 2, never used a single holy bone. I used 10 steel fist sakes. Now, I highly recommend that you ha have steel fist sakes on 100% of the time during that last phase because you're facing Nagi and his health is, their health is just ridiculous. And I have no need for steel soul sakes because that's only useful if you have taken, um, if you don't have any godhood. So, that's it. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we begin the finale. 99 stray beads. This will be my 30th 100% completion of this game. Yeah, 30 times I've done this. I adore this game endlessly. It is my perfect game, and always will be. And I hope that throughout the course of this Let's Play, you guys have gotten some semblance of why that is, and what that means, and I hope that a little bit of that special something that this game has is rubbed off on you as well. Next episode, we board the Ark of Yamato. See you guys then.